Well, as you well know, every elevator comes with a panel of buttons, mm -hmm. which include one for each floor, of course, and two at the bottom that say open door and closed door. Yeah, it's those two we're concentrating on tonight. <laughs> ABC 7, 7 on your sides. Michael Finney joins us now. Oh, the close, drama. Close, close, close. <laughs> yeah, close, close. That's what I you see, to, okay, so you're there and the door opens and then right. it stays there forever. Right. right. The one in our building. Yeah. Right. You're like that. Well, that. Don't even start me on these ones here. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like the elevator door does stay open forever. Well, there's a closed door button that doesn't work. Elevators are all around us. We get in and out of elevators constantly, which means we push elevator buttons a lot. The floor buttons light up and off we go to the floor requested. So we know those buttons work, but what about these two? Do elevator buttons, the closed door and open door, do they work? Yes. A direct answer, but not everyone is so sure. I don't think it does much. <laughs> Personally, I like to think it does, but I don't think it actually does. I checked and the open door buttons do work. Look for yourself. As soon as I push the button, the door opens immediately. The industry backs me up on that too. But how about the closed door button? Do you think that works? Mm, like 65% of the time, maybe 50. <laughs> <laughs> she is not alone in her skepticism. Open door and closed door buttons. Yeah. Do they work? Not necessary. They're sluggish. People think that it is merely a placebo button, and it's not. Karen Penafiel is the executive director of the Trade Association National Elevator Industry Incorporated. She says the button's functions changed in 1990 when the Americans with Disability Act instituted rules giving those with mobility issues more time to get onto the elevator. The code requirements are very complex and it's a combination of how far the elevator doors are positioned from the call button, etc. Uh, but once that waiting time is over, uh, then the door close button will have full functionality. It's hard for you and me to measure because the two elevators on the left here can have shorter open door times because they're closer to the button than the elevator on the right. And confusing things even more. Every three years, the codes change, but the elevators generally are only required to follow the codes in effect when installed. You following all of this? 